One of President Park Geun-hye's campaign pledges was to reduce the size of the so-called underground economy, that is, money swirling around under the radar of the government and tax collectors. While a recent study says the size of Korea's underground economy amounts to nearly 300 billion U.S. dollars, larger than the OECD average, Park Ji-won reports on how the shadow economy is sapping the nation of much-needed revenue. According to a recent study by LG Economic Research Institute, Korea's underground economy last year was estimated at 296 billion U.S. dollars. This accounts for nearly one-fourth of Korea's nominal GDP last year, which stood at around 1.2 trillion U.S. dollars. The estimated share of underground economy in 2010 was almost the same as last year. When compared to other OECD member countries, where the average was about 18% in 2010, Korea's proportion at a quarter is considered high. Countries like Turkey, Italy, Greece, which have gone through severe financial crisis in recent years, have larger shadow economies than Korea, while other countries like the U.S. and Switzerland have shadow economies that represent less than 10 percent of their annual nominal GDP size. Due to the size of Korea's underground economy, the study says the government collected less than half of its potential maximum tax revenue last year. Advanced countries, on average, collect about 70 percent of the potential maximum tax revenue. The paper attributes Korea's relatively large underground economy to the nation's high number of high-income, self-employed businesses, which tend to not to report their actual income to the National Tax Service. To reduce the scope of the shadow economy, the LG Economic Research Institute suggests that the government come up with policies that provide incentives for the self-employed to report all their business transactions to the National Tax Service. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.